皆さんこんにちは。Hi everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, general producer of Nintendo Switch. Players the world over are already enjoying Nintendo Switch and its growing catalog of games. I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each of you. With Nintendo Switch, you can play on your TV at home, detach the Joy Con controllers to play with friends, or undock the system to take it with you wherever you want. You can find your way to play thanks to the many different playstyles supported by the system. That's the Nintendo Switch you know and love. And this fall, it will be joined by a new addition to the family. Introducing Nintendo Switch Lite. This version of Nintendo Switch is dedicated to handheld play. And as such, it's compact, lightweight, and easy to take with you on the go. The front of the system looks like this. Here's a side view for you. And this is how it looks on the back. Nintendo Switch Lite will be available in three different colors yellow, gray, and turquoise. Now, please take a look at this. So, how'd it look? With Nintendo Switch Lite joining the family, you'll have an option that's optimized for handheld play. In terms of features, Nintendo Switch Lite differs a bit from the flagship Nintendo Switch system. Here, let me show you. First off, since Nintendo Switch Lite is a dedicated handheld, it won't connect to a TV. To make it easy to take with you, the main unit and control inputs are integrated into one piece of hardware. The directional buttons have been swapped out for a plus control pad. In fact, the control inputs are different from the Joy-Con controllers included with the flagship Nintendo Switch system. And so, the IR motion camera and HD rumble features have been removed. That means you'll need additional Joy-Con controllers to play games like 1-2 Switch, which require motion controls. With Nintendo Switch Lite, 
you can play all Nintendo Switch games that support handheld mode. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and many more can be played. To see if a game supports handheld mode, check the back of the software packaging, right here. Since Nintendo Switch Lite differs a bit from the flagship Nintendo Switch in terms of features, please visit our website for some help citing which one is right for you. The Nintendo Switch family's newest edition, Nintendo Switch Lite. It's a dedicated handheld, so it's nice and easy to take it with you. It's always more fun to have options. And now you can find your way to play with the Nintendo Switch family of systems. There's still some time before it launches, but I hope you're looking forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Okay guys, now we're on the website, and as you can see they changed it up a bit. Now there's the Nintendo Switch Lite is featured on it, and it's only $200 compared to the other one. So, it's basically like a 3DS, it's dedicated for handheld play only, and you can take it anywhere just like the other one, but it seems like it's a bit smaller because of the built-in controllers in the screen. It, of course, comes in two colors, or three colors, which is pretty standard for Nintendo products. And you can use local wireless and Switch Online, of course. And you can play with the other Switches, okay? And it has looks like it has the same home page as the other Switch. You play together same games, but I think they have to be in handheld mode. As the trailer said. So yeah, same games, Smash Bros, Ultimate Alliance, Mario Maker, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Oh, look at that. Sword and Shield themed. That actually looks really cool. It's blue and red. Of course, parental controls, and oh, Okay, so you can't use it in tabletop mode, or hand, or TV mode, and you can't use, well the Joy-Con controllers are not included, I guess you could buy them separately and use them. I think the synth goes for the Pro Controller, so at least, at least it's compatible with all the other Switch controllers. Let's see, so, yep, only handheld mode, so that's a lot taken out of it. You can't even use your own adapter, I guess. And, well, most games are handheld mode anyway, so it should support almost all of them. Except for, like, 1 2 Switch. Let's see. Of course, it doesn't include. Oh, they took out IR. I don't know how you're going to play, like, motion games. I don't know if that requires IR, like Mario Odyssey. And it does not have a kickstand. Okay, so you can't even use your own Joy-Con controllers if you're using the kickstand. You'll have to like, buy your own or do something else. Okay, so it's smaller. It's 0.4 inches smaller for height. It's 1.2 and less long and it's same depth. And it's lighter, of course, because it doesn't have those bulky controllers. Touchscreen smaller, okay. And oh, the battery life. It's one hour more for Legend of Zelda at least. And the average is point is still an hour more. It's still pretty good. And yep, you know about the compatibility. And yeah, if you have Joy Cons, I guess you have to charge them. You have to buy your own charger. So it's interesting. And again, it shows the compatibility. So yeah, it's basically just like a 3DS, because 3DS can't go in TV mode, can't go in tabletop mode. It's like a better version of 3DS, but it looks really nice, actually. It's got the actual D-pad on there. Looks good. I'm excited for it.
So now the only question is, is it more powerful than the original Nintendo Switch? So we'll just have to see when it does release on September 20th this year. So thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe, as we're almost 300 subscribers. And leave a like on this for more content.